Flash, wind on, crouch, bob to the music. Flash, wind, flash, wind, stand, lean into Kurt. Flash, wind, rock out a bit. He shot iconic covers for Mud Honey and Soundgarden albums, but Sub Pop's go-to photographer, Charles Peterson, says he knows his legacy will forever be connected with Nirvana, a band he first photographed in 1989. They were newcomers on the scene. Kurt was very quiet. Chris was very gregarious. Both were thrilled to be the subject of a photographer who seemed to capture sound on a purely visual medium. They've been described as noisy photographs. Noisy photographs. Um, I guess, yeah, I guess you could say that because it represents the music. That was always my intention, to represent the music and, and that feeling and being immersed in it. And, and including the audience, so viewers felt like they could experience it as well. You can see Charles on the right, at work, in this home video of Nirvana, playing at a record store in the U District. That was the release for Nevermind. No stage, just on the floor, and there was people moshing and carrying each other, and it was just, a, yeah, crazy. Kurt and Charles recognized a quality they both shared, introverts who played extroverts. I think that when he got on stage, it just became this really physical thing for him. It was his release, and he wasn't so concerned about playing the perfect note. Charles learned to anticipate Kurt's most manic moments. 1990 at Raji's in Los Angeles, with 10 shots left in a roll, Charles had to sense something was going to happen. Because he'd been pacing back and forth and kind of twirling, doing feedback, and I, like, nah, he's gonna like go for that drum kit. And then, yeah, he just leaped backwards and I just, you know, leaned on the motor drive. Two years later, headlining in front of 45,000 fans at the Reading Festival in England, a personal photo. Kurt catches Charles' eye to ask if everything is all right. I think in that moment, he wanted that connection. Yeah, he a little hometown connection. Little hometown connection versus the sea of people out in front of him. With his famously noisy photographs, Charles Peterson connects his audience with a band on the ride of its life.